Hey y'all, today we're gonna show you how we make our crock pot loaded broccoli and cauliflower. And we're gonna show you our trip around the Santa Elena Canyon and Castellon down in Big Bend National Park. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy where we're cooking up dishes straight from our recipes that crock.com and we are doing it from our camper kitchen down here in Big Bend National Park. Today we are going to be making some loaded broccoli and cauliflower. This is good stuff, especially for you low carbers who love like loaded baked potatoes, but you can't have it because you know carbs in the taters. This is a good way to do a low carb version of that. And what you're going to need are the following ingredients. You need well, broccoli and cauliflower, that's the star of the show, <laughs> other than me. <laughs> but uh, two, I've got right here two bags of frozen broccoli and cauliflower. I also have, well, bacon, because bacon's a major part of our lives. And if it's not, it should be. Are you listening to me? One word, bacon. And I've got cream cheese. I have pimento cheese. I have cheddar cheese gonna be a cheesy recipe that's what makes it loaded and then I've also got some chopped up onions green onions that are gonna go in this as well and the reason we're not giving everybody exact numbers. amounts notice is, I'm not giving numbers here yeah because um, on the blog has exact amounts we've had to alter our exact amounts because mm -hmm. of the size of bags of stuff that we have here so we're just we had to do I want to do math to some people it's simple math to me it's just called math <laughs> I was a language major in college. Hola. Oh, <laughs> hear that? It's time to get started. So what we're gonna do is tell you to go to recipesthecrock.com, look up this recipe for loaded broccoli and cauliflower. It'll be down there in the description below. Do y'all read the description? You should, sometimes I leave funny things in there. <laughs> but for here, you just watch, cause I'm gonna show you how to do it and then you can go there and I'll tell you how to do it. Well, actually she'll tell you how to do it and then do it, cause it'll be good. I'm gonna take my broccoli, I'm gonna put it with my cauliflower in the slow cooker. Then I'm gonna take and hand this to my wife so the wind doesn't blow the trash around because that's bad etiquette in a campground. I'm gonna take my cream cheese in a slow cooker. This is a difficult recipe. I'm gonna take my pimento cheese. Now low carbers. In uh, the slow cooker. Pimento cheeses can be very, very different depending uh, for carb counts. The ours has zero. Um, if you can't find one that has a low carb count, you can make a Wait. homemade version. Onions. In this slow cooker. Uh, I thought that was for topping. It is. Oh. Right in the slow cooker. <laughs> Do as I say. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but um, if you can't, because there are some pretty high carb pimento cheeses out there too. So um, if you can't find one, or if you just want to save money and make your own, we've got a great recipe. Cheddar um, cheese. Linked in our blog post. In a slow cooker. Mm. It's about a cup and a half. Now, that was the easiest part of what I'm doing here. It's going to get difficult. Easy. It's about to get hard. Uh-oh. It's about to get extremely difficult. I have bacon. I have a lot of bacon. And the hardest part is, I don't want to put this in my slow cooker. I want to put it in my mouth. <laughs> Luckily, there's an extra piece. Oh, uh, he made me go get extra bacon, and I now know why. <laughs> she thought it was because I was going to put it in a slow cooker. <laughs> Pshaw. <laughs> you can chop it up. We're camping. This is primitive, y'all. <laughs> Is that what it is? In my slow cooker. In your ninja. Yeah. Uh. yeah. So I'm just going to take them, tear up a bunch of bacon. This makes me feel manly anyway. <laughs> you need a paper towel there, manly. I'll lick my fingers oh, when I'm done. Oh, great. We'll get those comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will. <laughs> Not that hard. I just want to eat bacon. <laughs> yeah, would you give me a paper towel? <laughs> We gotta do the Just paper. so we don't get those comments well, of, well, oh my now, gosh, now Kim he licked his fingers. Well, well, we're gonna have, so Kim can see you using your paper towels. <laughs> hey Kim, look at this. It's my 20th one today. <laughs> All right. We love you, Kim. <laughs> um, why don't you take this too before it blows away? Okay. Again, campground etiquette, throw your trash away. Or head it to your wife. And notice this little baggie right here. This little baggie of goodness. Your bacon reserves. Yes. 
save some bacon, save a couple slices of it, chop it up, tear it up, whatever you wanna do, and we'll garnish the top of this with that. So it's my better judgment. You probably ought to give I'll that to me. I'll hand this to my wife so that I don't eat it. <laughs> and then all I wanna do now is mix this up a little bit just to kind of let everything kind of get to know each other at the party. You're Hello, oh, bacon. You're always having a Meat party. Meat broccoli. You're always having a party in your crock pot, aren't you? I'm always having a party in my head, too. But I just want to stir that up just enough to where it kind of looks like it's almost one thing because it's going to heat up and it's going to melt down. You're going to have to stir it up anyway. But, you know, let everybody get to know each other at the party in the crock pot or the slow cooker or the ninja or whatever you're cooking in. Looks good to me. And I'm going to put a lid on it. And I'm going to put this on my wife filled the pot quiz. And this is her blog and it was her recipe. Watch this. I'll go to recipesthatcrock.com <laughs> and I will cook it on low. How low do you go? You go low for three to four hours depending on your slow cooker. This is what I'm reading from the site. Right. Depending on what your slow cooker is, three to four hours on a well, bigger slow cooker like this one is probably gonna take less time. Yes. I hope, because I'm hungry. Well, and we're actually, I'm gonna just be very transparent. We're gonna set it on high because we wanna eat dinner soon. So and I'm gonna set it on high because my boss said to. <laughs> Did y'all know that she's my boss? <laughs> Not just my wife, so she's telling me this. Um, I'm also gonna tell you, and if it isn't already in there, I'm gonna tell you to add some salt and pepper to that baby. How long do you want me to set this for then? Let's just go on for an hour. I bet it'll be ready, because we are using a bigger slow cooker, so it's probably gonna cook faster anyways. And I'll salt and pepper this off camera, y'all don't yeah. need to see that. You're gonna do this, you're gonna go salt and pepper. Yes. And that's how you do that. But while we're waiting on this to cook, we're gonna show you our little adventures down around Castellon and the Santa Elena Canyon down here on the border between Texas and Mexico in Big Bend National Park in three, two, one. So me and Messad are gonna check out La Harmonia, which is the original store at Castellon. Castellon, 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 one of the two. Whatever. We're trying to figure it out, aren't we? Yeah. But uh, we're headed down to the canyon and just, I mean, as you guys have seen, there's so much beautiful, beautiful scenery down here. And now we're going to go in and check out the store. So, you ready? Yes. Is it Castellon or Castellon? It's Castellon. Castellon. Yes, sir. Okay. Then I'll never call it Castellon again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey, You're don't welcome, forget mom's bracelet. Oh, thanks. But there is, between here and the overlook, there's a boat ramp access. Okay. You can actually drive right down to the river on that one. Or over at the Santa Elena Canyon hiking trail, it'll lead you right down to the river as well. And what? that one's a 0.8 mile hike one way. Where does it get, does it ever get really wide anywhere through here? Like I, we were at the, uh, the hot springs. I know it was about 30 feet across. Does, it, does the river get wide anywhere? Oh, uh, when we get good rains, it does, it does. Okay. expand. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much. You're Have welcome. a good day. You too. After you, my dear. So I've got a thing for hats. Anywhere I go that's new, if I find a hat I like, I gotta get it. So that's my old Texas hat. Everybody. But this was the store and we're gonna head on down towards the river and see more of the canyons. You ready?
we just can't get very far at all today because everywhere we go we have to stop because the views are amazing do you like it? You've been taking some pictures too, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Right. And then I said all my pictures got deleted because like, <gasps> there are no photos in your gallery. I'm like, no, 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 no. But then I took photos and there were photos. Okay. Whew. All right, so here's some of the views. No, go this way, go body. There's a view. Yeah, you want to see a mountain? Can I look at it? That is Santa Elena Canyon. Yes. And the Rio Grande River runs through there. How tall do you say that that range is? I have no idea. It's maybe really, really tall. 500 feet, maybe? It's, it's tall. All I know is it is massive and it makes you feel tiny. Yeah, it's it's huge. I know in the camera it doesn't look like much, but that is that is like super tall. And then the Surely the river goodness. runs right through that canyon right there. It's just cut through it over millions and millions of years. I think we could probably find out. So when you do this video, you could write down the bottom how tall it really is. I'll Google it. You know, well, when we have service. Yeah, we, we still don't have cell service down here, so... Lord have mercy! Yeah, like for a second we'll get like 3G and then I'll have like... That's just for a second. The rest of it is no service whatsoever. Yes. So, depends on which way the wind blows. I'm sure this... I'm sure we can find out though. Yeah, we're gonna Google it when we get back or we'll read it with some of the pamphlets we've got. There's all kinds of literature down here. But it's just amazing. Have we said that enough that it's gorgeous down here? Go! Go down here sometime. Go to Big Bend. Yes, and um, we are here, like February. Yeah, we're at the hard. very end. We're at the very end of. Yeah, we don't even have a concept yes. of time right now. And it is 82 degrees. So if that gives you any kind of now, it's not been that every day. So I don't want to give the wrong impression. It can be like 60 in the 60s. And, and it gets cool and, at night. And it gets cool at night. So, but I would say February, Marchish is a really good time when it's not going to be like like 117 degrees hot. yeah one of the signs that we saw back there was talking about the wildlife that you don't ever see it at noon and that's because the ground temperatures get up to 150 degrees i just found the answer oh nerd you are like way off <laughs> how tall is it 1500 feet that's 1500 feet up yep that's 1500 feet up 500 times three i thought, I thought i was exaggerating <laughs> That is very tall. I wouldn't want to fall off of that. No. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go rafting down it. Yeah, Eddie doesn't want to go rafting People down it. People have died. People have, have gone <laughs> rafting down the river through the canyon, and they say that just nothing but splinters comes out the other end, so. Don't do that. We won't be rafting. Nope. Again, but I didn't bring gonna, my bikini. We're going to uh, take, we think we're going to take uh, um another scenic route back an unpaved road so here we go here we go on a dirt road The scenic route and we're on what's called Old Maverick Road. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we did. The scenery is gorgeous down here and then we come upon this. I don't know, let, me, let me see if I can get it this way. That is called Lunas Hakal and it was built by a man called Hilberto Lunas who lived here until 1947, raised his family here, and he died at 108 years old. He was a respected member of the local community, and he built this, this was his home. It's, I mean, it looks like a dugout, but it's made from the local rocks and plant fibers. And don't stand up. And don't stand up. I hit my head on that right there. But uh, it's, it's made from the, the spiny, the spiny plants from around here and they say I guess and I, I would imagine it's more for in the summer months but when you step in there it's a whole lot 
cooler than it is on the outside from all the shade. So it protects you from all the elements, but I just thought that was really awesome. And also Except for when I hit my head. Also when I came out, there was a dust devil that chased me down. That's right. <laughs> Castellone was awesome. Santa Elena Canyon was awesome. What was that, what's that called? The Old Maverick Road? Yeah. It was we just went a, back? like an old service road. It's a dirt road and it's just a, a, a bumpy road and I did this a lot. <laughs> but when we saw that guy's, um, his, his house, I mean, it looked like a little dirt berm that he had built up, but somebody lived there until he was 108 years old and lived off the land right there. Awesome. Speaking of awesome, not just this guy. I'm talking <laughs> about this stuff right here. Uh, it's been a little over an hour and in all transparency, just letting you know, I kicked this up on the stovetop to cook it up a little hotter because I wanted to get this done because I'm starving. If you want to slow cook it, you can follow the recipe on RTC. That's recipesthatcrock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog. Or if you want it done a little quicker, heat it up a little quicker in here, which is what I did. I have salted it. I forgot to pepper it. I'm okay. Oh man. But you stir it up. And the reason you want to stir it up, and I, I went about halfway through when I stirred it in, and that's because I wanted to make sure all those cheeses melted evenly. My mouth is watering like crazy right now because you want that cream cheese to mix up with the pimento cheese. You want the pimento cheese to mix up with the cheddar cheese. Now that bacon garnish is for the whole thing, honey, not just your bite. Oh, okay. I was gonna garnish my plate with that. Uh huh. Remember that extra bacon that I made myself give to my wife so that I wouldn't just eat it? Again, this is another hard part of the of the steps here in making this little dish. You gotta that's to share. make sure that you don't eat all the bacon yourself fry extra and eat it. But all I want to do is just break up my bacon. Aki's back here top. whining at you because he, smell hear, he smells the bacon. We got bacon going on. I just grilled some steaks. We're going to have one heck of a dinner and look at a gorgeous sunset. Yes. It's getting ready to drop right over Big Bend. It does that every day. And it's gorgeous every day down here. I'm still trying to find a road runner. <laughs> I'll get him eventually. Now, it's my house. Oh, here we go. Licking my own fingers. Come on with them comments. He's licking his fingers and sticking them back in the bowl. My house. My camper kitchen, my rules. <laughs> Come over for dinner sometime if you can find us in the National Park. <laughs> I'm going to get me a bite with plenty of that bacon. I might have strategically sprinkled more on one side. Uh, I know all your games. So let's give it a try. Okay. Look at my face. Okay. The face don't lie. Okay. Did you do good? Bacon. Broccoli. Cauliflower. Get a lot of that green onion in mm -hmm. there. It gives it a yummy. It tastes like a loaded baked potato minus the potato add broccoli and cauliflower. Yep. And again. That's kind of what it is. That's exactly what it is. But if you're eating low carb, yeah, this is a good way. Even to if have you're that. not, it's like a nice kind of different dish. Bacon. Yeah. Mmm. All those cheeses mixed together. Ooey gooey goodness all around those veggies. And bacon. But this is what we do around these parts. I stuff my face. I smile at you, and I talk with my mouth open. <laughs> with your mouth open? My mouth full. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be going, <laughs> <laughs> But if you like what you saw, whether it be the dish, whether it be the beautiful Big Bend National Park, or just me, <laughs> give us a thumbs up on the video. And also, if you haven't already, if you want to be a member of the Croc Posse, it's real simple. Click the little subscribe button down below and you're automatically a member of the Croc Posse. Click the little bell next to it. And when you click my little ding -ling, it will tell you anytime that we have a new video to show you. Whether it be in Big Bend, Yosemite, Carlsbad, Florida. I don't know, maybe we'll take the RV to Jamaica one of these days. Who knows? But whatever we do, we're going to do three things. We're going to laugh often. We're going to eat good food. And we're going to speak life. Love y'all. You think you could finish my steaks now? I'm gonna finish mine. Ah! Uh. The sun's in my eyes. 
I gotta do it like this. Mm hmm. How's my hair? In the Santa Elena Canyon in Big Bend National Park. Because I wanna talk like this. <laughs>